All right, now this is for somebody else, but I want to use Bella, right? Um, so for stays, stays are hard, especially dogs that are super attached to you. So you're probably going to have to do a couple of things. The bed's going to help you out, having a bed or uh, or like a blanket, right? So it'll be a, a not an arbitrary spot. Like we're going to stay on this as opposed to on the grass. Now you have something that they can focus on being on, and it's going to help them. Oh, man, that thing give it. It helps them focus on staying there, right? So you know what? I should have done this sideways. I'll do it sideways this way. Uh, down. Good girl. Right? So say you're doing the bed. You can go, ready, up. Sit. Uh-uh, sit. Good. Right? So you're going to start off really slow. You're just going to do a hand motion, no words, hey. And just try to take, nope. Here, you got to sit. Nope, sit. Nope, sit. No. Nope. Good. And you're just going to do a couple little movements. A lot of times with the ones that are super attached to you, you might have to do just like any kind of movement and reward, right? Do your hand motion, your movement. Good. Mark and reward. Your hand motion, your movement. Good. Mark and reward. Break. Um, so that's the first part. You might have to start with just a little bit of movement. You're going to have the bed or a blanket, just a little bit of movement. At first, you might just have to jiggle one leg, then jiggle the other leg, right, like one at a time. That's going to help you. That's going to help you. And here's another one that helps. Ready over here? Ready up? Sit. Good. If you're still struggling with that, right, if you're still struggling with that, when they're on a leash, here, sit. Good. You're going to do this. When they're sitting there, you're going to do your hand motion, and you're going to dig into their opposition reflex. So where, wherever the pressure's coming from, they, unless you've done a lot of leash work, they want to go into the pressure, right? So unless you've done a lot of countering that, it just depends on your on the leash work you've done. You're going to have them in the sit, and you're going to do your hand motion, and you're going to do this. Boop, 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 boop. Three times. Mark and reward. One, two, three. See how she's going back into that pressure that I'm doing? Now, if you pull, I've noticed that if you pull tight, they usually come to, depending on, again, depending on the leash work you've done. All right? So you can pull. Good. I thought she would go with it because we did, when she was a puppy, we did a lot of these pressure. All right? So see how she's pulling back into the pressure back that way? Good. A lot of times that helps kickstart your stay too. So now you can get your movement. All right? Good. And it's all progression, right? Down. And motion, good. Right? So it's all progression. You want to try first just the slow, slow movements in the bed. Then if you're having a hard time even with just doing like this, then you try your least pressure. That's like kind of like a last resort. That's like if you're having a bunch of problems with it. But I've also noticed a lot of times if you do negative reinforcement with your positive reinforcement to the start, it, it jump starts it faster. Depends on how fast you're looking to do it. You want to do this stuff now? You tired of me talking to this thing? So you're all over the place. You're all over the place, huh? <laughs> you tired?